There's one more person I would like to introduce to you today, and I'm quite sure he's here. I haven't seen him, but I, I understood he was coming. Uh, there's a, I believe, uh, uh, that he's made it today, and that is Jack Bogle, who I talked about in the annual report. Jack Bogle has probably done more for the American investor than any man in the country. And Jack, could you stand up? There he is. Jack Bogle, many years ago, he wasn't the only one that was talking about an index fund, but he, it wouldn't have happened without him. I mean, Paul Samuelson talked about it, Ben Graham even talked about it, but uh, the truth is it was not in the interest of, invest, of the investment industry uh, of Wall Street. It was not in their interest, actually, to have the development of an index fund, uh, the, the index fund, because it brought down fees dramatically, and as we've talked about some in the reports and other people have commented, index funds overall have delivered for shareholders a result that has been better than Wall Street professionals as a whole, and part of the reason for that is that they brought down the costs very significantly. So when Jack started, uh, very few people, certainly Wall Street did not applaud him, and he was the subject of some derision and, and uh, uh, a lot of attacks. And now uh, we're talking trillions when we get into index funds. And we're talking a few basis points when we talk about investment fees in the case of index funds, but still hundreds of basis points when we talk about fees elsewhere. And I estimate that Jack, at a minimum, has saved, left in the pockets of investors without hurting them overall in terms of performance at all, uh, gross performance. He's put tens and tens and tens of billions into their pockets, and those numbers are going to be hundreds and hundreds of billions over time. So it's Jack's uh, 88th birthday on Monday. So I just say happy birthday, Jack, and thank you on behalf of American investors. And Jack, I've got great news for you. You're going to be 88 on Monday, and in only two years, you'll be eligible for an executive position at Berkshire. Uh, <laughs> so hang in there, buddy. <laughs>